All yesterday the thought of you was resting in my soul, and when sleep wandered o'er the world that very thought she stole to fill my dreams with splendor such as stars could not eclipse, and in the morn I wakened with your name upon my lips. Awakened, my beloved, to the morning of your eyes, your splendid eyes, so full of clouds, wherein a shadow tries to overcome the flame that melts into the world of grey, as coming suns dissolve the dark that veils the edge of day. Cool drifts the air at dawn of day, cool lies the sleeping dew, but all my heart is burning, for it woke from dreams of you. And oh, these longing eyes of mine look out and only see a dying night, a waking day, and calm on all but me. So gently creeps the morning through the heavy air, the dawn grey garbed and velvet shod is wandering everywhere to wake the slumber laden hours that leave their dreamless rest, with outspread, laggard wings to court the pillows of the west. Up from the earth the moisture steals with odours fresh and soft, a smell of moss and grasses warm with dew, and far aloft the stars are growing colourless, while drooping in the west, the late, one moon is paling in a sky of amethyst. The passing of the shadows, as they waft their pinions near, has stirred a tender wind within the night-hushed atmosphere, that in its homeless wandering sobs in an undertone an echo to my heart that sobbing calls for you alone. The night is gone, beloved, and another day set free, another day of hunger for the one I may not see. What care I for the perfect dawn? The blue and empty skies? The night is always mine without the morning of your eyes, 